Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about VirtualBox network modes. In VirtualBox, the, mach the virtual machines that we create can be configured to participate in a variety of different networking modes. In this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about just a few of them. NAT, NAT network, bridged, internal, and host only. Let's go ahead and open up VirtualBox Manager and take a look at one of our VMs. All right, in this example, I have a Windows 10 machine running Oracle VirtualBox. So I have an example of a Windows 10 VM. Let's take a look at its settings. If I go over to the network category, you'll see that on adapter number one, at the current moment, this network adapter is set to the internal network. But if I hit the drop down arrow, we can see that there's a variety of different other networking modes that can be enabled. We see that there's NAT, bridged adapter, of course the internal network, host only adapter, generic driver, NAT network, cloud network, which is experimental for this version, or not attached. So we're going to be talking about a few of these in our tutorial series. So let's talk about the NAT mode. NAT stands for Network Address Translation, and it is the default mode enabled for a virtual network adapter in VirtualBox. This allows the guest VM to access hosts on the external network, including the internet. However, if you have more than one VM with NAT as the mode for the adapters, these VMs will not be able to communicate with each other. As you can see in this diagram here, we have more than one VM, and these two VMs would not, are not connected to each other and would not allow for communication between them. Also, the IP addresses assigned to the VMs cannot be changed. NAT Network, on the other hand, while it operates similar to NAT, NAT Network allows you to create a network that will allow the VMs to communicate with each other. As you can see in this diagram, the VMs are all part of the same network. In this case, we see VM number one is at a 10.0.2.5, VM two is a 10.0.2.6, VM three is 10.0.2.7. So all of these VMs are operating on the 10.0.2.0 slash 24 network. The NAT network mode allows inter VM communication while also being able to access external resources. Each of the VMs have to be placed on the NAT network mode. Next is bridge adapter. In this mode, you typically will allow the VMs to directly connect to the host network. This is a typical configuration for production servers you will find in a data center. Computers can communicate with the host network as well as communicating with other VMs that have the same adapter in this mode. Notice here that the real IP for the host on this network is 10.10.10.72 and the VMs have IP addresses in the same range. In this example, 10.10.91, 10.10.10.92, and 10.10.10.93. All of these VMs, as well as other machines on the same network segment, will be able to communicate with each other. Packets can flow from the VMs to the host, out of the adapter, onto the external network, and packets can also flow inward from the external network into the VMs, allowing bidirectional communication. Again, this is a mode that you typically see servers run in, typically in a data center environment. Next is internal network. This is the mode you typically choose when you want the VMs to be configured in a way that only allows for the VMs to communicate with one another, but no other host on the external network or the host system itself. Actually, the best configuration for system testing that does not require any access to an internal network. Notice here in this mode that the internal network is not connected in any way or fashion to the host system. So these VMs, VMs1, VM2, VM3, while they can communicate with each other on this internal network, there is no communication between the VMs and the host system or the external network. Host only adapter. This network mode is used for communicating between hosts and guests. A VM can communicate with other VMs connected on the host-only network and with the host machine. So this is very similar to the internal network, except in this mode you can also have the VMs connecting and communicating with the host operating system. Well, that's all for this presentation. In the next video, we'll be covering snapshots and how to use snapshots to help protect your VMs. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. We'll hope to see you in the next video.